Hey, music theory community. Today I have a video for you discussing leading tone diminished seventh chords. And these are chords that have note, um, notes seven, two, four, and six, and they lead into one chords. In this case, we're presenting the leading tone diminished seventh chord in inversion, in six five position, which is first inversion. You remember that your um, inversions are, or first your root position is seven, then six five, then four three, and then four two. These are all your inversions of a seventh chord. Here's root position, first inversion, second inversion, and final inversion, third inversion. In this case, this chord is sitting in six five position, which is first inversion. The notes of the chord are and once again, seven, two, four, and six. Here we are in this example in the key of G minor. Here's your one chord. Here's your diminished chord. Let's look at the structure of this chord. If we're in the key of G minor, G will be the tonic tone and there will be a G. And here is notes seven, two, four, and six in the key of G minor. Again, this is in bass clef. So what's important to note is that in minor, which these chords usually appear, the leading tone must be raised. So the seventh scale degree is now written as raised. So in the key of G minor, the seventh scale degree is what note? F. And F must be raised and must be made the leading tone, sharp seven. So here you can uncover the structure of the leading tone diminished seventh chord. From the root to the third, from a D sharp, sorry, from an F sharp to an A, there's your minor third. Now from your root to your fifth, that interval has to be your diminished fifth, C natural. And then from the root to the seventh, that has to be your diminished seventh. So the structure of a fully diminished leading tone seventh um, chord is root to third, minor third, root to fifth, diminished fifth, and root to seventh, diminished seventh. F sharp to E flat. Okay? Now let's get to harmonizing and putting, putting the parts down. So let's voice this chord, the notes of a G minor triad, G, B flat, D. You can choose to voice it in close or in open spacing. Let's voice it in close spacing this time. So here is your G natural, stand down, and the doublings for a triad are what? Prefer to double the root, if not, double the third, avoid doubling the fifth. So we need a G, we need a B flat, B flat tenor, D, where? D could be here for extremely close spacing. And then here's your G doubled. So G, B flat, D, G. Heading into this next chord, this next chord has to have seven, two, four, and six but the chord is sitting in first inversion. So scale degree what has to be the bass note? It's gotta be this note. So the A is in the bass, but the root of the chord is still the F sharp. So now we don't double in leading tone diminished seventh chords. So we already exhausted the use of the A we need the C, we need the E flat, we need the F sharp. Now we have to head off these notes in a very smooth way. So what can we head off on that B flat, which has to go up? We can go to the C in the tenor. These parts are moving up by third. So no more Cs, we need an E flat, we need the F sharp. Can the E flat go here? In the alto? Yes, it can. Can the F sharp go here in the soprano? Yes, it can. 
Now, important to note, you have to remember what the seventh of this chord is. Remember, sevenths resolve down. So the seventh above the root is what? Remember, not the seventh above the bass. The root of the chord is still F sharp. The bass note is A, so it's, in, it's sitting in 6-5 position. There it is. It's the E flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the seventh, the E flat. And the E flat needs to move down by a step in the next chord. And there it is, D. Remember, this chord is a G minor chord, and it's in first inversion. Remember, Arabic number six refers to a first inversion triad in figured bass. So the bass note has to be what? The notes of this chord are going to be G, B flat, and D, but the bass note is the B flat. So there's your B flat and the bass. We have a D here that's been resolved due to the seventh needing to resolve down. We're gonna need the B flat. We're gonna need the G, definitely the G. Let's put the G in the soprano. Since the F sharp is the leading tone in the leading tone diminished seventh chord. And the leading tone in the leading tone diminished seventh chord has to resolve up. The seventh resolves down. Don't confuse the seventh scale degree with the seventh of the chord. The seventh scale degree, the leading tone is the F sharp. The seventh of the chord is the E flat. Remember, seventh above the root of the, of the chord, not the bass note. And then the seventh in the key, that happens to be the root of the chord. Remember, we're in the key of G minor. So the leading tone is the root of the chord, of the leading tone diminished seventh chord. The leading tone resolves up, the seventh resolves down. What are we gonna do with our tenor part, who's sitting on a C? We have a B flat, we have a G, we have a D. And it's sitting on a C. If you were to rise up to a D, this would be an improper doubling you'd be doubling up on the fifth of the chord. So the only option the tenor has is to go down to the B flat and double up on the third. Then you double stem the note. So you'd have a G, two B flats, and a D. Remember, in a triad, you try to double the root best or the third and avoid doubling the fifth of the chord. So here is our progression in close spacing. And let's play it. First chord. Next chord. The leading tone resolves up. One more time. And one more time. Leading tone diminished seventh chord in six five position. It's got re, the second scale degree, in the bass, heading up to a one six chord. And this chord, has the op that this chord has the option of resolving up to the 1-6 chord or even going back down to the 1-1 chord. But a lot of times you'll find it in passing motion this way. This chord we know is a good substitute for 7-6. It can be a substitute for what other chords? For a 5 chord. A 5-4-3 chord, namely. It can be a substitute for a 2 chord. Okay, so one more time, here's your leading tone diminished seventh chord in inversion, in 6-5 position. If it were in root position, it would be 7-7. Seven, seven. Once again, the notes of a 7-7 seven, seven chord, a leading tone diminished seventh chord, are 7, 2, 4, and 6. And the 6, remember, is the seventh of the chord. It has to resolve down. And the leading tone is the root of the chord. It has to resolve up. Last time, students. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll be back with another video.